Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A string of length 0.4 meter and mass 10 raised to power minus 2 kilogram is tightly clamped at its ends. The tension in the string is 1.6 Newton. Identical wave pulses are produced at one end at equal intervals of time, delta t. The minimum value of delta t which allows constructive interference between successive pulses is. Here we have given four options. Option A. 0.05 second, option B 0.10 second, option C 0.20 second, option D 0.40 second. Now in this question, we have using the formula of wave in the string that is V equal to T by mu. Here T is the tension force and mu is the mass per unit length. So what is the mass? Mass is given 10 raised to power minus 2. And what is the length? Length is given 0 0.4. This decimal is removed. And uh, 1 is applying 1. And after decimal only one number. So 0. 2, 5 is a 10. 2, 2 is a 4. Then mu equal to 5 by 2. It means 2.5 into 10 raised to power minus 2. <clears throat> okay. Then V equal to. What is the tension force? Tension force is given 1.6 Newton. So 1.6 upon 2.5 into 10 raised to power minus 2. This decimal, this decimal removed. And by using exponent rule, this reaches the numerator and become positive. This is 25. Then what is the root of total number? That is 4, 10, 5. 5 and the 5, 5 to the 10. Then V equal to 8 meter per second. Okay. <coughs> Now, we have to ask the minimum time for constructive interference delta Tm equal to total length 2L by V. Do you know what is the constructive interference? When two waves superpose such in a way, their amplitude become maximum. And destructive interference, it means two waves superpose such in a way, their amplitude become zero or we can say minimum. So, here 2L upon V, that is the, what is the length is given? 2L that is 0 0.4 and what is the velocity we have already find out 8 meter per second so 0 0.8 divided by 8 so we get 0 0.1 0 second okay so here is the answer let's see which option is made here option B is correct I hope so you understood this question thank you for staying till the end of this video definitely when you will become success Full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.